What is up, YouTube? Intricate Explorer here today. If you haven't met me, if you're new to the channel, I do adventure photography. I go to cool places and I talk about the photography I do while I'm there. I'm here with Haley Parker, and we are going deep into the sand dunes. Like, we got a straight up permit to camp in the middle of the Great Sand Dunes National Park. And that is them over in the distance over there. So we're gonna walk about a mile or two into the sand dunes and set up camp. Um, it's about a 50% chance of a thunderstorm tonight per the warning of the people at the visitor center, like the park rangers and stuff. So I don't know, we're gonna kind of scope it out. If it starts looking sketchy, we might head back. But apparently the sand dunes are like an electromagnetic field. So they attract lightning. So they're kind of dangerous to be in during a thunderstorm. But it's basically said as long as you camp like lower in the dunes and you're not camping on their black, on black sand, which is like the most electromagnetic, then it's safer. So that's what we're betting on. Um, so yeah, we're gonna walk in and basically just like chugged a bunch of water before and it's gonna be dope as fuck. Here we go, great sand dunes. Yeah, all that sand erosion. Oh yeah, by the way, it is Father's Day, so if you're a father and you're watching this, happy fucking Father's Day. Keep up the good work. Yeah, see, Haley here actually just forgot to call her dad, so she's gonna call her dad real fast <laughs> before we go into the sand dunes. Really good daughter. <laughs> <laughs> those things are fucking huge, by the way, those sand dunes. So we have to climb over the top of one of those to get to the point where it's legal to camp at because that's just how it works here. If you have a permit, you have to camp over them. And believe me when I say, if you're gonna camp at the sand dunes, you have to get a permit and camp inside them. It is way better than camping at the shitty little parking lot campgrounds they have out there. If you're trying to be like loud or have a good time or anything at all, like the rangers will come and enforce it. Middle of the sand dunes, you can do whatever the fuck you want out there. So you gotta cross this river to get to the sand dunes. And this is actually I think one of the biggest times the river has ever been. There's like a ton of snow in Colorado this year, so you kind of have to, apparently there's more water or something. Get those people away from the distance. So what? Uh, the trick with the sand dunes is you have to embrace the sand because it's gonna keep coming no matter what you do. It's in the air, it's everywhere around you. <laughs> Sliding all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> Haley's having a little bit of a tough time. God damn it. I deserve that. So take off your shoes, that's another tip of advice, because then you could grip the sand better and exfoliate your skin. I think no matter what you do, you're gonna be exfoliated. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this is one of the many sports you can do in the Great Sand Dunes. It's called Long Jump, Sand Edition. <laughs> long Jump. <laughs> Haley's gonna record me. But basically you run and try and jump as far as you can off the of sand dune. <laughs> oh my gosh. Here goes Haley. She's got the red cape, the red crusader. Yeah. <laughs> not go anywhere. <laughs> it's not gonna hurt. What do you mean it doesn't hurt? Well, we have the land, like, I don't know, I guess it depends on the sand. <laughs> <laughs> this is so hard. <laughs> that is terrifying. All right, we're gonna get a redo of Haley on that <laughs> dune because she literally just landed straight on her ass on flat sand. <laughs> She did not jump off the right point, so <laughs> we're gonna do it again. Okay, round two, here we go. One, two, three. Yeah! <laughs> that was a lot better. Alright folks, this is it. This is what you come here for. You're about to be over the top ridge line. Best view in all the sand dunes. Not many people get to see this. 
except for the few, the brave and the worthy. block the wind the best I can. I don't know if it, how bad it is. So I'm sorry if it's horrible. I really need to invest in a mic system. Like, I don't have any microphone or speaker system. So yeah, it sucks. But, um, I'm gonna try and zoom this in. Basically, you can see a green oasis way over there. That's where we're gonna set up camp because basically you wanna camp where there's not a lot of sand because you know sand's not gonna be blowing on you all night if you're down there. So, and it's kind of far away. We're not gonna have people bothering us and stuff, so. Yeah. All right, yeah, so check out this little grassland. So we're gonna try and set up camp somewhere around here. Yeah. All right, so we got base camp set up right here. Nice little tent. Um, stakes don't really work out here. So basically what you want to do is you want to like lay your bags in different corners of the tent. If you have a water bottle, lay that in the corner because the tent will blow away. I've seen it happen many times in the past. All right, so we're out. We're gonna take some photos right now. Not much of a sunset. Look at that. It's really cloudy and rainy in the distance, but you know, we're gonna make it fucking work. We're gonna go on post-production. We're gonna pull some fucking colors out. We're gonna make this look vibrant as fuck. All right, so. So it's been super fucking fun. So we got some cool photos where we were manipulating the sand and like throwing it in the air and then putting it on a really low shutter speed. So I had it at I think like one, one thousandth, one through thousand, two thousandth of a second. I'll list in the thing what I actually was, but it basically captures the sand in midair. So it's like, I was basically having Haley throw the sand and it created like an arc and it just looks fucking awesome. So here's what that photo looks like. Yeah, so the sand dunes are six by seven square miles. So you can literally just keep walking for miles through this entire thing. So we just arrived back at the tent. It's getting a little bit dark right now, so we're gonna wake up and try and do some sunrise shots because the sun should rise on the other side. So just explore the other sides of dunes over there. I think my favorite thing so far has been how green everything is. Like it's insane. I've come here so many times in the past, like probably over five or six times, and I've never seen it this green. It's just because Colorado the past like two months has been so ridiculously green and I mean so rainy that it's just making everything look so fucking green. So have a good night guys. We're gonna get some uh eat some chili out of a can because we forgot the stove to cook it, so we're just gonna eat it right out of the can. We didn't even bring utensils either, so we're gonna figure out how to eat this <laughs> chili just fucking straight up ghetto style. So peace out, we'll see you guys in the morning. Good fucking morning. It is a beautiful sunrise. The great sand dunes. I just ran over this dune. So we got tired. But look at that. There's like clouds just drifting over the mountains. And I'm pretty sure we were the only people who stayed out here last night. It's fucking amazing. Barely any rain at all. Maybe like a little bit of showers on and off the whole night, but nothing crazy at all. So, right now we're just walking up this hill. Haley's up there a little ways. She's got her Instagram jacket on. Just like bright yellow jacket. And we're gonna do some cool shots. It's 
kind of been an interesting trip because the whole time there hasn't really been an amazing sunrise or an amazing sunset, but it's so fucking awesome to be out here. Like, sometimes it just sort of happens with photography. You just go out and it's not always the best conditions. So you just work with what you got. Take photos anyway because it's fucking fun and good practice. And it's more of a challenge than an instantly beautiful just landscape. So I always say just, you know, go out even if it might rain or something because you never know. Here's Haley's Instagram jacket up close. <laughs> Talking about my Instagram jacket earlier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> also, this is what tired Haley looks like. <laughs> and this is what tired Nick looks like. I'm tired Nick looks way better than tired Haley. <laughs> <laughs> All right, look at these little caterpillars we found. There's like hundreds of them. We actually thought that these little black spots on the bushes were like flowers blooming or something, but they're all caterpillars. Every single one of them. All right, we are on our way out of the sand dunes. Leave no trace. Don't leave anything at your campground. That was fucking awesome. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Actually, nah, I can't record us going to the hot springs. It's like supposed to be like a naked hot springs. But <laughs> we're going to a nude hot springs. What's it called? Uh, Orient Landrus. Orient Landrus? Trust. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to Orient Land Trust hot springs to mosey off all this sand. So thanks for watching, guys. Drop me a like, subscribe, comment below with any questions. I'll catch you later.